Hi, I'm here with David Alexander with Hunting Souls, Kelly Young Silva, and we are entering Thunder Round. Thunder Round is where I ask David questions as quickly as I can, or maybe he's gonna switch up and ask me questions. We don't know what happens during Thunder Round. We just go. So, uh, David, what is Hunting Souls? Uh, Hunting Souls is a horror thriller, and it is scary as hell. Yeah, so scary. <laughs> and you play who? I play Bob, and who is listen. Mike's boss. Mike's the lead guy in the, in the film. And Bob's not a nice guy. He's all about the bottom line. He doesn't give a crap about what's going on in Mike's life. And he's kind of the icing on the cake for Mike. He's the, the guy that just puts him over the edge, I guess. Okay. Uh, do you have a Bob in your, have you had a Bob in your life? I think we've all had a Bob in our lives. But I, I was in radio. I worked with a guy named Kevin who was Howard Stern's program director back in the day. Really? Paul Giamatti played him in the movie. Uh -huh. uh, and he was not a nice man. He, he drove me to drink. <laughs> Which I still do to this day. <laughs> well, at least you commit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, what uh, was it like shooting during the pandemic? It was weird. This was, I think, the second thing I booked after things opened back up. And uh, well, technically, I think it was the first thing I booked, then we had a delay because of COVID. Right. And then we finally shot. But it was weird being on set that first day, uh, taking off the mask when the makeup artist came and got in my face. I was like, you know what? Because yeah. you know, I hadn't had anybody that close to me. Yeah. And, you know, a year. Things were still really new. Yeah, we were just opening up back yeah. then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, difference between film and TV. Uh, film, you, you kind of are allowed to simmer on it a little bit more. It's a little bit of a slower pace, whereas TV, they're they're knocking out an, like a, an episodic every you know, in ten days, so it's a little bit more fast paced. Things change on the fly a lot more than they do in film. I right. Think. What was it like working with a foreign director? Uh, it's pretty much the same as working with a, an American director, uh, just with an accent. <laughs> and occasionally, I'd have to be like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Okay. Uh, did it, when when you got the part for Hunting Souls, did it appeal to you when you knew that Diego had Emmys? Did that make a decision on signing up? Oh, absolutely. Because you know sometimes independent film, you, you're never you, you don't know what you're going to get. Right. Uh, and I, I think it's important that we work with people who are, are quality. And the fact that he's got the resume and the credentials and the Emmys to back up his talent is i was really happy to work with him everybody's gonna love the finished product <laughs> uh, advice you give to a uh, new actor uh stay the course don't get frustrated uh live in those moments and enjoy those moments because you know how often do we get to step into somebody else's lives and explore that you know it's a gift so just relax and, and have fun and use your imagination yeah be be who you're supposed to be in that moment yeah. <laughs> Now, for you, what was it like uh, working with your husband on this film? When we're under that much stress, we just both go into complete work mode. Yeah. And it's more like, um, you know, we just support each other in it. But it's not really like we're a couple in those moments. Yeah, yeah. Just kind of. I don't know. Push it together. Just works. Had a baby all in the whole mix. Too. And we had a baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, that was crazy. Is Diego going to miss this Emmy? Oh, when he's I'm got plenty of Go, I'm go. Out here. Don't miss Hunting Souls on all streaming platforms starting April 5th.